gang channel and welcome back to my channel. Now, let's state the obvious. Your girl looks a little crazy. You know, I know it. I look a little nuts, but it ain't how you start. It's how you finish, uh-huh. Speaking of finish, the end result of all of this will be Sierra braids. Is that what it's called? Child, let me look and double check because every other day it's a new braid twist lock or something coming out. Yes, it is the Sierra braid. So, I previously worked with Toyo Tris and I had those beautiful locks that they gave me, you know, the red ones, and they was just like, hey, we got something else we think you might like. And I was like, go on, send it to me because I don't feel like doing my hair no way. So, shout out to Toyo Tris for sponsoring this video because y'all know what sponsorships I get. Donations. Donations. Gifts. So here's the thing, Toyo Tress, they make really nice crochet braids. So the good thing about these particular braids, the Sierra braids, and this is them right here. And let me just tell you right now, I wish I was a redhead. God knows I do. So anytime I get braids, it's gonna be red. And this is them right here, these juicy little red braids with the curly curls at the end. Oh, isn't that sweet? So these particular braids that they sent me, they're crochet and they're handmade. It's not made by a manufacturer or anything like that, according to them. And so it's meant to have more of a natural look to the braid, which is why it's kind of, you know, scraggly and all of this other stuff versus just a complete box braid that we're normally used to. Now, when I feel it, it actually feels extremely soft. So, you know, we like that. You know, I ain't got to worry about no stiff old braids. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and crochet these mugs in. So if you want to see how this turned out for me, somebody who number one don't know how to corn roll and number two got on these old long nails keep on watching because honey this it's gonna be something roll that beautiful game footage hey child So let's go ahead and get this video started. So again, these are the Sierra braids. They come in packs of, I believe, 10 strands per pack, and the average person needs about seven packs to do their whole head. If you're saying you're big head like me, you probably need eight, honey. Shout out to us. If we ain't big head, we just got big brain because we smart. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these bands. I wanted to stretch my hair without blow drying it out because I ain't feel like doing that. And plus, I'm trying to make sure I don't put no heat before I put it in a protective style because you're kind of undoing the whole reason of protecting it. So I put these on to stretch my hair. So I'm gonna take these off and I'm getting ready to install this using the method I've learned from Forever Chrissy. I did it last time, it worked for me. So we just gonna stick to that thing. All right, so let's go ahead and get this started. Now consider this crochet for dummies because I'm gonna keep this as simple as possible and get this video over with. So, number one, make a row. Number two, make a box. Like so, like that. Number three, use some gel. Number four, braid it. But hold on, make sure them edges ain't braided up in there because the last thing you need to do is snatch them on out. Now braid it. All right, so I got about halfway down and I'm gonna swing this sucker back. Now I did a test just to see would it reach this particular box. It will. I don't wanna make the braid too thick because then it get hard when you try to crochet it in. So right here is a good stopping point. So here's what we're gonna do. Make another box. Add a little bit of gel. Now you could just go ahead and put all the gel on at once, but honey, you know I got to be extra, but yeah, this is what I'm doing. So you wanna split this box in half and take this, this particular braid you just did, use that as the third leg of this braid and get to platinum. Now, I done did me a good little distance. I got me two boxes, so I'm gonna make a third one. Put me a little bit of gel. Split this box in half and use this as the third leg of the braid and plait it down. All right, so we got three little boxes right here. Wasn't that easy? Now go ahead and do that to the rest of the front of your head. Be right back. All right, so my front is now complete. Let's tend to the back. So I am, um, listen, I'm telling you, I've said it before and I said it again. I'm a black girl who don't know how to corn roll at this big age of mine. I really ain't interested in learning, but what I am good at is flat twisting. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use some cream just to give a little bit of moisture to my hair because low key, I did the front last night, fell asleep, and now the back is dry and matted. So I'm gonna put a little bit of cream on here just to add some moisture and now, as you can see, the top of the braids are right here. I'm gonna actually flat twist that into the corn row. Flat twist. Child, y'all know what I meant. So take that and I'm going to flat twist. All 
Okay, so this one is completely applied. So now I'm actually gonna start on the second flat twist. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of cream just like last time and apply that one there. And including the loose sections from above, I'm gonna start twisting. Okay, so now that I am at the bottom of this particular twist, I'm actually gonna turn this into a plait. So you see how I got these two sticks right here? I'm gonna add this in there from this other braid and make it into a braid so they're all connected. So I got these three, switch this braid into that and start braiding it down. And I'm gonna do that to the entire back half so that all of the hair is connected just like last time. All right, so all of my little twists slash cornrows slash whatever they are are installed. And I'm telling you right now, I'm almost nervous to turn around because I know y'all gonna drag me. It looks a mess, but don't judge me, judge your mama. So this is what we looking like. And as you can see, I got the pippy long something going on. Now what I'm gonna do with that is secure it to my scalp with this needle and thread. It's like a weaving needle and thread, the OG curve needle. I ain't had a sewing in a minute. Maybe it's time for one. So anyway, Anyway, what I'm gonna do is just fold this inward to this particular braid right here, and I'm gonna just sew it down so it remains flatly attached to my head. All right, so now that the needle is off, I'm just putting a knot in this thread so that it remains secure. Baby, the worst thing I did was try to do this mess with some nails on. All right, so it's double knotted. I'm gonna cut off this excess. All right, so this is the Sierra braid, and can we just get into this loop, honey? They said we want you to have extra real estate. I can stick my whole fingernail in here. So anyway, naturally, I would usually start like in the back, but because I am filming, we got to start on the side. So last time I did crochet, that was my first time ever doing it, and y'all told me to go downward with the hook. So I'm gonna try this. So I'm gonna take this particular box, and I'm gonna go downward with my hook, attach, the crochet to the needle. Honey, don't embarrass me on camera. Attach the crochet, close the hook, pull it up. Take the end of this braid, stick it in the fish eye hook, close it, and pull it on through. Oh, I don't, oh, okay, wait a minute. So because of this curly nature, you gotta be careful with pulling it. I didn't know that, honey. So I stick that back in there, put the end of the braid in the fish eye hook, and I'm trying to be careful because of the texture of the end is so curly. All right, so let's go ahead and pull that all the way. And voila, we got something installed and when you turn it, it look a little something like this. So let's do another one. Go downward, attach the hair to the crochet hook. Close that bad boy and pull it up. Then I'm gonna take the end of the braid, put it in the crochet hook. Close it and pull it on through. You gotta be careful with this lower because it's so squiggly getting it through this hole. It's, it's real interesting. And voila, we got two. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and crochet the rest of my hair. Vibe out to this music, we're gonna get this hair together. Voice over fade here, so I'm not gonna take you through my whole head of crocheting it in, cause honey, you ain't got time and I don't either. So my process throughout the whole crochet process remained the same. I aimed the needle downwards and then just did the regular, regular, regular crochet process. Um, and I did it all around my head, even in the back. I didn't go into showing you that in the back because it literally was the same two-step process all over the place. And then I had to be careful cause I kept getting that curly part of the braid tangled in the crochet hook so just take your time in doing it so here i am once again going downward downward facing dog hook the crochet right onto there and then just fasten it like you normally would the next time i do this i'm definitely not going to have the nails because they really made it a little difficult for me but anyway after i finished the entire crochet process i just tended to my edges tied them down let them dry and went about my day and seen we are finished hi there future fake here coming to interrupt the flow of the video to show you my hair after a few days originally i had filmed the end of the video it was done by the woman by the man get it on out of here but i want to show y'all an update after it's been worn for a while number one 
I am obsessed. Number two, color. Number three, as far as the install time, it took me about four hours. Only about an hour of that was crocheting. The rest of the time was braiding and plaiting and twisting, trying to make sure these cornrows stayed in. Now, I will say as a tip, number one, because these ends are curly, if you're not careful, you can get it real tangled or whatever in the crocheting process, like pulling it through the loop de loops and lop de lops and all that. And number two, if you look at these braids, they're not straight up and down box braids. They kind of like ring around a rosy, back of a posy. Because it's doing like this, you have to be a little careful pulling it through the crochet hook just to make sure you get it on there good, especially at the root. Now, because these are thicker braids and they are doing like this, I didn't get quite as flat of a lay as I would like, but overall, I do like this. And last, as another tip, I intentionally left my edges back because these are thicker braids and I got them long. And I didn't want to put tension on my hairline and I'm glad I did do that. These braids aren't really heavy, but they're noticeable. Number one, because again, the thickness, and number two, let me show you this length, honey. Honey, I didn't come to play around. My braids are 24 inches, you know, I just, I like to be out there like that, honey. I like my hair to my butt. So, because they are thick and they are long, I do feel a heaviness. It's not uncomfortable or anything like that, but I definitely can tell it's there. So, I would just say, if you do get these braids, make sure you give your hair a little, little grace in the hairline. I ain't trying to have my edges up and vacate the chat, so I'm glad that I did do that. Lastly, if this length is not for you, you can check out other products from Toyo Tress. Honestly, the quality of these braids is good. It's soft. I didn't have to dip it in hot water. If they ever get to, you know, stiff, acting like, you know, little hay braids or or something then I will dip it but overall I didn't feel the need to do that they honestly held up very well on their own I feel like this is very fitting for me I absolutely love it I have no complaints at all so y'all make sure y'all check out Toyo Tress click the link in the description box check out these Sierra braids or you can check out some of their other products because even their distressed butterfly locks was that deal Toyo Tress really is a plug when it comes to crochet braids so with that being said I'm gonna turn around and let y'all see the back yes get on through here honey yes yes yeah, so that's how I'm rocking out for the rest of the summer. Well, not the rest of the summer. I gotta take these out because I gotta do some work, you know, donations. But I'm gonna wear them as long as I can. So again, shout out to Toyo Trust for sponsoring this video. Y'all make sure y'all click the link in the description box. Check out their hair. And yeah, I'm gonna set it up. Bye, y'all.